What's up, everybody? It's James here from the Sawyer Family Reviews channel. Today is Wednesday, October 12th, 2022, and this is the weekly comic book pickups video. Every week I buy comic books, I get them for myself, I get them for my kids, I get them at Queen City Comics in Fairfield, Ohio, zip code 45014. If you're in the area and into comic books, check out the comic shop, and while you're over there, check out the toy department, why don't you? There are new comics in here, and then there's a book from my shelves. It's not really a taking a trip to the past for things that I uh, enjoyed reading and stories that I like to share. Uh, this is more of a more recent thing, and it's not really a, a comic you read. It's more just an art book, and it's not going to be linked to Amazon because it's not on Amazon. So that's all a tease as to what's to come on that. Uh, first things first, we've got James Bond 007 issue 3, three ninety nine from Dynamite. This is for Blaze. I'm almost positive I got him the first two issues. I know I got him the first one. Philip Kennedy Johnson, Marco Finnegan doing the art. I didn't have anything else for him today, though, so this was it. I like this kind of dot matrixy coloring. Um, yeah, that's pretty nice. I know there were some racy ads in here, so I'm trying my best to not show the... Dynamite loves to put their racy ads in here. And I don't know, sometimes kids are watching this, so I don't want to... I don't want to show racy stuff. Um, so there's that. And then we've got... I grabbed this for Keaton. I, I don't have any books for him either. I got him Star Wars Visions number one. This retailed at $4.99 by Takashi Okazaki. I, I probably butchered that name. <clears throat> now, I got this because... All right. So he likes those Bandai Tamashi Realization figures. Ones where it's like a samurai Jango Fett. Or something like that. So before the Ronin and his droid encountered the Sith in a small village, the two wanderers had a different type of encounter in snowy mountains. So, I don't know, it just looked like kind of similar to that. It gave me that vibe. So, I got him this, just because he had nothing else. He likes Star Wars, he's been watching Clone Wars. Um, so I figured, why not? It looks cool, it's got cool art. So, why not? Eh, why not? Uh, then we've got I grabbed these for me. I'm, I'm trying to, to get back into collecting this IDW Turtle series. I have no idea what's going on, but I am buying this. This is the new big crossover, the Armageddon game. Or not big crossover, big storyline. So I grabbed both covers. They were $3.99 each. There was an Eastman cover, and this is the regular cover. I like this cover better. It's very exciting. Um, so this is written, story consulting, Kevin Eastman and Tom Waltz. Story by Sophie Campbell. Uh, art by Ferro Pei. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know how to say it. Um, I have no idea what's going on in the IDW Turtles book up to this point, though. So I have to get caught up before I can really read this. But it's got pretty art. And, you know, the, the IDW Turtles book is the longest-running Turtles book. So they got to be doing something right. they got to be doing something right. And then last but not least is actually the book for Gracie. We've got Batman, Scooby-Doo, Mysteries, 1 of 12... Shally Fish, I'm excited. We loved this first Batman Scooby Doo series. We loved the Batman, the uh, the Scooby Doo team up. So this is going to be fun. This is going to be more fun. We've got art by Dario Brizuela. Did I say how much it costs? Two ninety nine. Yeah, it's going to be fun because it's always fun. It's always fun. I don't want to ruin the mystery. I don't. Wanna, I don't want to spoil the mystery for you. And then the book from my shelves today is this big, giant, oversized Kevin Eastman, they call it, it's called a notebook series, sketchbook. So it's like his, his notes and his, and it comes with this tip-in plate. So you get this tip-in plate with an autograph and a Kevin Eastman autograph. Gungala, gungala. Um, it's kind of like his notes on the Raphael micro series one shot that first introduced Casey Jones. So you got this notes here, you get these sketches, the whole thing's oversized. It's really fun. If you're into the process, the process of creating comics, this is really cool. I believe he did this one, and I think there's one for an annual maybe or something. I can't remember for sure, but I grabbed this one because I'm a big Casey Jones fan. Um, this retails at 55 on his site, which, I mean, it's kind of steep for one book, but it is oversized. It's got some really cool stuff in it. You get that tip-in plate. I'm not going to show you everything. Um, it's cool. It's neat. 
it's cool, and it's neat. A series of special reproductions representing the one-of-a-kind spiral-bound project notebooks assembled and curated by TMNT co-creator Kevin Eastman. So, yeah, that's the one off the shelves today. Enjoy that. Okay, guys, that's it for this week. If you enjoy the videos, like, subscribe, notify. Um, keep on keeping on. Watch some stuff on my channel. Hit the like button, subscribe, and notify. All right, see you guys next week.